everyone welcome back to fly with shubham and today we'll be learning about radial interception before we begin with radial interception we need to understand the basic concepts of the cdi or the course deviation indicator and the hsi which is the horizontal situation indicator now the course deviation indicator or the cdi is basically an instrument in the aircraft which shows our aircraft's relative position to or from the station if the aircraft is towards the left of the course then this particular indication will be shown where we have to turn our aircraft to the right depending on the course which we have selected in the aircraft in the cdi and if the aircraft is towards the right of the course then this particular indication will be shown where we will turn our aircraft towards the left to intercept this particular radial and now in this instrument there is also to and from indicator shown which is shown by an arrow like this this particular indication on the top means that we are going towards the station and if the arrow is at the bottom then it means that we are going away from the station so that is from this is a from indicator and this is a to indicator the cdi is one of the most crucial instruments used for instrument flying and in the traditional conventional cockpit you have the omni bearing selector or the obs knob which you can turn clockwise or anti clockwise to set the course according to your choice if you are flying in the modern garmin 1000 cockpit then you can just select the soft key which says obs and then change your course according to your own choice There are four different types of radial interception that we follow when we are doing instrument flying. First is the inbound to inbound, outbound to outbound, inbound to outbound and outbound to inbound. Let's talk about outbound to outbound. Let's say you are going outbound on a radial of 180 from a station and you want to go outbound on a radial of 220. So you'll turn right and change your course to 220. But your heading will not be 220 because you'll be flying parallel to that particular radial. So to intercept that particular radial your heading will be within 5 miles plus 30 degrees which is 250 or plus 45 which is more than 5 miles so 265 so when you set your heading 250 or 265 depending on your position from the station then after you will be able to go towards the radial 220 and then you'll intercept it and get back on track let's take another example let's say you're going outbound on a radial of 050 from a station and you want to fly outbound on a radial of 010 So you'll be turning left to intercept the radial 010. Now, if you put your course as 010, you will not put your heading as 010, as you'll be flying parallel to that radial. So to get your heading, which you will use to intercept the radial 010 from the station, you will subtract the 30 degrees from 010, which is 340, if it is within 5 miles, and 45 degrees if it is more than 5 miles. So that is 3 to 5. So if you fly a heading of 340 within 5 miles then after you will be able to intercept the radial 010 outbound and if you put 3 to 5 if you are more than 5 miles from the station then you will be able to intercept the radial 010 outbound easily and then fly on track So outbound to outbound is fairly simple the direction towards which you are turning will have the heading correction accordingly So over here as you are turning left in this example from radial 050 to 010 outbound you are turning left So your heading will also subtract from the desired radial outbound 010. And over here, let's say you are flying 180 radial and you want to turn right towards the radial 220. Your heading will also increase so that you can intercept the radial 220 outbound from the station. Now let's talk about inbound to inbound. Now in this example of inbound to inbound, you are on an inbound radial of 180 from the station and you are going towards the station. So you need to intercept the radial 150 inbound. So you need to turn right to intercept that radial. Now on this particular 180 radial your course is 000 that is the current course and your new course will be 330 as i've calculated using this particular formula which is plus 200 minus 20 or minus 200 plus 20 the easiest way to calculate the opposite because in inbound you are getting the radials from the station but your course and your heading will be the complete opposite of that that is 180 degree plus or minus so in this you need to intercept radial 150 inbound you're getting the radial 150 from the station but you need to intercept it right so your course will be 330 which is the next course so to intercept that particular course which is which is towards your right from your current course you'll turn 30 degrees towards the right if it is within 5 miles of the station and 45 degrees if it is more than 5 miles from the station so you'll be following a heading of 030 within 5 miles and a heading of 045 if it is greater than 5 miles from the station and then after you intercept the radial 150 inbound and then you get back on track with the course set 330 let's take another example of inbound to inbound you're going from 210 radial inbound to 
170 radial inbound. So basically, this is the radial 210 from in from the station which you're getting, and you're going towards the station. And you need to intercept the radial 170 inbound the station. So you will turn right and then intercept this particular radial. So your current course is 030 using the particular formula of plus 200 minus 20 and minus 200 plus 20. So your current course is 030. You don't know your current heading, but your next course is 350. Since you are inbound on the radial 210, your current heading is also 030. But you need to know your next heading and your next course. So you calculate your next course using the 180 formula, which will be the opposite of 170, which is 350. So your next course, which you found, is 350. And you need to find out the heading which you need to follow so that you can intercept the radial 170 of the station. So you calculate it from your current heading, which is 030, and your current course, which is also 030. So you increase it by 30 degrees because you're turning towards the right. If you turn towards the right, you increase your heading. 30 plus 30 within 5 miles and plus 45 if it is greater than 5 miles. So you follow a heading of 060 within 5 miles or 075 if it is more than 5 miles. Then you intercept the radial 0170 inbound and then you get back on track with the course 350 set in your instruments. So what we understand from this is, is that in the outbound to outbound leg, we are taking our heading correction from our new course so that we can intercept that particular course but in inbound to inbound we are taking a heading correction from our current course so that we can intercept that particular radial inbound since we are going inbound the radials will converge and when we are going outbound the radials diverge so that is how we do radial interception for inbound to inbound and outbound to outbound now let's look at inbound to outbound you are currently flying inbound on a radial of 220 towards the station and you need to fly outbound from the station on a radial of 140 so you'll be turning right and you need to intercept the radial 140 going outbound from the station your current course is 040 which is the opposite of 220 and the next course will be the same as your outbound radial 140 so you need to find your heading to intercept the radial 140 the heading should be always towards the left which means that if you're turning right from inbound to outbound, your heading correction will be towards the left. So that will be subtracted from your new course. So your new course is 140, but the heading correction will be minus 30. That will be a heading of 110 if you are within 5 miles of the station. And 140 minus 45 degree heading correction to give you a heading of 0905 if you are more than 5 miles from the station. Let's take another example of inbound to outbound. You are going inbound on a radial of 080 and you want to go outbound on a radial of 170 from the station. So your current course is 260 which is the opposite of 080. Your next course will be the same as your outbound radial 170. You don't know the heading. How do you calculate it? Using the next course which you will be putting in your instruments 170 plus 30 degrees because since you're turning left the correction will be towards the right which will increase your heading so that you can intercept this particular radial. So if the current course or the new course will be 170 plus 30 degrees will be 200 heading and 170 plus 45 if you're more than 5 miles it will be 215 so if you're within 5 miles of the station you follow a heading of 200 you'll be easily be able to intercept the radial outbound 170 and if you follow a heading of 215 if you're more than 5 miles from the station then you'll be able to intercept the radial 170 outbound and then you'll be on course on your next course 170 let's talk about outbound to inbound Let's say you're going outbound on a radial of 040 and you need to come inbound on a radial of 100. So your current course is 040 which is the outbound radial. Your next course will be 280 which is the opposite of 100 inbound radial. So your heading will be 280 minus 30 which is 250 within 5 miles or 280 minus 45 which is 235 if you are more than 5 miles from the station. Now since you're turning right, the heading will decrease. In this case, since you're turning right, the heading correction is towards the left. So it was similar with the inbound to outbound case as well. Whichever direction you're turning to, the heading correction will always be the opposite in the inbound to outbound or the outbound to inbound leg. Let's take another example. Let's say you're outbound on a radial of 210 and you want to go inbound on a radial of 160. So you're outbound from the station on a radial of 210 as per this diagram and you will go inbound on the radial of 160. So you need to turn left. Now your current course is 210, the next course will be 340 which is the opposite of 160 which you calculate using the formula. What will be the heading? It will be the new course plus 30 degrees if you are within 5 miles or plus 45 degrees if you are greater than 5 miles from the station. This is because 
Since you're turning left, the heading correction will be towards the right, which will be adding. So your new heading will be 010 within 5 miles or 025 if you're greater than 5 miles, which you'll follow and then intercept the radial 160 inbound and then get back on your current track, the new track, which will be 340. Now after all of this, we know that inbound to inbound and outbound to outbound have almost the same procedure. Whichever side you're turning, the heading correction will be towards that side. But for inbound to outbound and outbound to inbound, it will be the opposite. So let's say you're turning right, the heading correction for inbound to outbound and outbound to inbound will be towards the left. Try out a few examples by yourself to understand these concepts better. And if you have any queries, you can get me on Instagram at oreo underscore pilot. And don't forget to subscribe.